Hey everybody, I'm Justin Cole. I'm with you today's uh, Ryan Roundup, and today I'll be with my co-host. Ryan Stickle. All right, and uh, just to let you guys know about the Ryan Roundup, it will be a weekly recap of Shepherd Sports. And uh, today we will be doing a mid-season review of all the sports here, um, including men's and women's soccer, volleyball, and football. All right, well, we're going to start off with the men's soccer team, uh, uh, led by second-year head coach Alex Jones. Uh, they're 0-8 so far, 0-6 in conference play, so a rough start, obviously, looking to turn it around. Um, only scored one goal so far in all eight games. Yeah, I saw that. I so saw obviously that. Uh, offense is going to be key. They want to start controlling possession, uh, controlling possession of the ball more, and that starts at midfield. Yeah. You've got to be aggressive, you know. Yeah. Now, we also got women's soccer led by head coach Emily Hester. You want to talk about them a little bit? Yeah, so far they're two and six so far. Um, I think this year will be a rebuilding phase for them because yeah. they have a lot of young players still trying to find their roles and uh, like find their identi identity on the field and just trying to catch up to the speed of things. They um, have two freshman goalies. Uh, one is uh, freshman Lulu Hicks and uh, Kaylin uh, Klingen who, combine, who combined for 55 saves this season. Uh, I think for them, they average about 8.4 shots a game. I think that's not aggressive enough. I think they need to be more aggressive and take more shots. And instead of just passing it to one another, just somebody take a shot. You know? Yeah. Somebody take a shot. I know, um, I believe her name is Kate Eddie. She's a sophomore from Charleston. Uh, she uh, leads the team and goes with three right now. And then uh, another freshman, actually, uh, she um, is right behind her at two goals. So I think they will, they will be fine. I think they just need to be more aggressive offensively and defensively as far as attacking the ball and getting the ball back to the midfield. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right, we also got volleyball, and volleyball's doing pretty good this season. 11-5, uh, and five, predicted to finish second in the conference in the Mountain East, and that's pretty big uh, second-place finish. It really is. Uh, been doing great offensively, led by juniors Peyton Lindblad and Cambria Hill. Uh, let's see, Peyton accounted for 246 points. Impressive. 211 of them have been kills. Impressive. That's a pretty good percentage. Uh, Hill's got 192 points, 159 kills. Uh, senior Becca Kearns has 434 kills already, and uh, she's one of the best servers in the whole conference. So obviously that second place finish you got to have some of the best players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to, uh, to have uh, that many kills already, and it's pretty early in the season, probably yeah. kind of like halfway. Yeah. Kind of. Halfway, I believe they played three games in conference, but a lot of those, a lot of those games have been out of conference. So Yeah, so been. getting into conference play, you definitely you want to start playing your best ball now. Exactly, sure. exactly. Uh, they got a lot of potential. They got a lot of team chemistry, and uh, – I really think they do. They can win the conference, yes. second place prediction. But hey, you get all the pieces together. You got a lot of leadership, good team chemistry. You put it all together. I mean, that's enough. You can go on to win it. You start playing your best. I agree. I agree. I think they uh, they've had people, well, girls who've been play, playing with each other for three years now. Yeah. So um, they have a lot of experience uh, in this conference, and I think the like you said. Uh, a lot of talent, they can do it, I believe. I'm, I'm rooting for them. And, you know, sometimes you look at the school, they got the, maybe the best talent, best recruits, but there's a lot to be said for teams with seniority. Yeah. Like, that experience, like, you can't, no matter how yeah. good you were in high school, you can't replicate that. That yeah. experience and, and working together as a team. Exactly. I, that's really important, and I think that's something to look at going forward as the season goes on because that will only get better. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on to football now. Uh, first year of head coach Ernie McCook. Obviously, you're on the on the football team, yes, I am. so you, you got a lot of firsthand experience with this. Um, so far, the Rams are two and one. Had a loss their first game, but a bounce back. Two straight wins now. Quarterback Tyson Bajan, he's really developed. Uh, first game, a little bit of struggles. Obviously, he's a true freshman, yeah. fresh out of the area. Went to Martinsburg High School, yeah. and a uh, little bit of struggle. First game. But he's come out the past couple weeks, and he's been on fire. He's got 1,000 yards passing already, conference player of the week a couple times. And uh, he really he owes some of it, obviously, to his arm talent, but he's also got some really good receivers. Uh, he got Ryan, Ryan Feist, Feist uh, Wanya Allen. Allen. This year, he's uh, new this year, Greg Leonard. 
Yeah. And uh, he scored every game. And I know uh, against Glenville State, he scored the first two touchdowns as well. So he's a, a very key weapon in that offense. Yeah, and obviously uh, last year, great offense with Connor Jessup. You're moving on to a new quarterback, and yeah. you're looking to see him mature because he is a true freshman, and he's, yeah. already, he's already looking pretty good. Yeah. So he's only going to get better. Uh, defensively, um, looking to improve this season on last year. Interior defense was a big topic in the offseason, looking to, to get better on that, get the run defense going, uh, better pass rush. Yeah. And uh, the defensive tackle position's been a big, big improvement this season. We've, uh, we've, re we've really stressed that in practice as far as like stopping the run. That's like one of our key instruments every week is to stop the run. And so uh, I know his tackle and these tackles have really improved as far as Scott Dixon. Scott Dixon, this is his redshirt junior year. Uh, we have a uh, freshman as far as Ricky. Um, he was a freshman last year and he played last year. And so he came back in the off season, got bigger and stronger. And so um, he has more experience. Jawan Addison has more experience. And uh, on the uh, DN side, we have Ta Tata. Uh, and he's a senior, and like he's like one of the strongest guys I've yeah. ever met. <laughs> strongest guys I've <laughs> ever met. He put on a show in the weight room. Exactly. And uh, last week he had two sacks against West Virginia State. So he brings experience and leadership and also strength to that D-line. And uh, as far as in the defensive backfield, we have Dewan Neal. Um, he's an NFL draft, draft prospect this year. Yeah. And um, he's a... Uh, He's been lights out, shut down so far. And uh, we also have safeties in our um, different safeties as far as me and Ponce and Fox. We all play different uh, positions. As far as Josh, he stepped up last week um, as, a, as a position, and um, he played good. So we are all just finding our identi identity as well on the defensive uh, backfield because Definitely. this is all of our guys' first or second year um, playing new positions or just on the field, period. Yeah. So. We're learning and we're balling. That's all yeah. I can say. I mean, you could you could see the improvement each week watching yeah. the games. I mean, yeah. the defense is getting better and better. Yeah. And you know, you come on, you got you know, you got Fairmont State coming up in the future. Big games like that. Yeah. And especially next year, going into a new conference. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. Gotta, it's exciting. You it's step, exciting. It's exciting. You, and you step your game up, and uh, you improve this season, and you take that going into next season, and uh, you got a good defense working. So. Yeah. Any big predictions? For any any of the teams this year, anything wild you want to put out there? Second half of the season, I'm going to say women's soccer are going to make a turn around. Yeah. Turn around. I think they're going to listen to my prediction as far <laughs> as being aggressive. <laughs> and <laughs> they're going to make a turn around. Take the advice. Yeah. I like it. And as far as football, we're going to get the job done and win the conference again. Um, I see it. I see it happening. That 0-1 start, you think, oh, what's, what's happening here? But I yeah. think they turned it around real quick. I think yeah. it's... I think they're on their way. Another yeah. title. Yeah. Just like every year, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to keep the winning tradition going and finish out the MEC strong. And uh, we'll do well. Cool. So thank you, folks. Uh, thank you for listening. This is the Ram Roundup. Once again, I'm Justin Cole. I'm Ryan Stickle.